What is popping YouTube? Worst you here with a video on Avengers Endgame. So it's been a pretty cool week. Last week we had the Avengers Endgame second trailer. And with that, you get more and more potential plot leaks. But the movie's not out yet, so you've got to take him with a pinch of salt. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the content. And also we are doing a competition this month to give away an Infinity Gauntlet. All you've got to do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below what was your favorite moment or moments from the second trailer. So this is a very strange plot leak to go over, to be honest, but it does make a lot of sense. So it's implying that the first hour of Avengers Endgame has been entirely leaked. So this is from BGR.com and it's written by someone called Chris Smith at Chris underscore right on Twitter if you want to check him out. I will be linking the article down below because, well, that's because this is the source. But it's really hard to source this video because although it is his kind of article, the plot leak essentially comes from Reddit, kind of. It will make sense once we actually get into it. But before we do get into it, I need to read a bit of the backstory of what they're saying before you can understand what entirely is going on. So it said this, obviously I had to check it out and I found huge post in Chinese dated January the 1st titled Avenger 4 Spoilers. Mind you, this is a painful read if you don't speak Chinese as Google Translate will have you going insane trying to guess what the person who wrote it wanted to say. But as you get deeper and deeper into it, we're looking at parts posted that extends for more than 100 pages if you want to print it out. You realize the author delivers accurate information that shouldn't have been available to him or her back mid-January. Not only that, does the spoilers post contain actual credit scenes from Captain Marvel, but it also tells you exactly how Captain Marvel is structured as a superhero movie and what we can expect to see. Neither to say the information wasn't publicly known or public knowledge back in January. Furthermore, it also includes Avengers 4 scenes from the Disney shareholder, the Disney meeting that we went over last week, which did go over some major details, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, it goes over um, some of the surviving Avengers, Captain Marvel, Nebula, including the fact the way they flew off to Thanos' new home to bring the fight to him. But then at the end of this, there's an update saying Redditors were were able to prove the post was edited it's still a worthy read but there's no reason to believe anything in it so you guys might be thinking why go over it because to be honest it is pretty interesting and it doesn't really focus on that much it's not far-fetched we don't get any crazy galactus is coming war stews come in the Kang the Conqueror is coming. The one above all is coming the living tribunal is coming it just tends to focus on a lot of stuff we already know. So I am gonna I I did give credit to the author of the article, Chris Smith and BGR.com. But this isn't this isn't a particularly new article. It was published on the 15th of March, but the content on the channel uh, we've been going over the trailer stuff for the last few days, so I've been meaning to do this, this video for a few days now, so let's get into it. But like I said, guys, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, the main reason I go over these plot leaks is because they are requested, but also and is the fact that I don't know if it's true, so it's interesting to me. If I knew it was true, I wouldn't go over it. So according to the plot leak, it's Thor, Rocket, and Rescue, who will come to Iron Man and Nebula's rescue. Pepper reaches out to Thor for help and he and Rocket figure out that they can contact the Benatar from Nanlevere where the escape pod is. That's where they hear Tony's message. That's how they find him in space. And to be honest guys, Thor's a well traveled traversed character. Rocket is the Benatar essentially and Pepper's pretty intelligent. So this isn't far-fetched. I mean, everyone's expecting it to be Captain Marvel or someone like that, but this honestly makes sense to me. Thor does seem a bit on edge in the first two trailers. Thor then takes everybody home to the Avengers compound, Benatar included, and that's when Tony and Steve see each other for the first time. Also, this is where Tony calls it quits for the time being and says he needs treatment. This is where the scene shown at the Disney shareholders meeting 
comes up. Some of the Avengers go after Thanos on Titan 2, but Iron Man, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and apparently Hulk stay behind. So like I said, I tend to believe uh, potential plot leaks or theories if they're not too far-fetched. So far, this is not really far-fetched at all. Comment down below if you think it is far-fetched. On Titan 2, they lose the fight against Thanos. He destroys the Infinity Stones in an effort to stop them from doing anything to change the past. Stanley's cameo is also part of this spoiler. Apparently, he's in a scene where veterans give a talk and Steve Roger is in attendance. Now, yeah, sure, you could just say this is taken from the first trailer when we see seen him in a meeting and uh, where the dialogue goes some of us give up but not me but not us the avengers start rebuilding the world steve and war machine return to the military while black widow will use shield resources to help with all the crises out there apparently she's very shaken about everything she misses a lot of shot whilst practicing the current trailers show that she pulls herself together though so i mean guys is this far-fetched no is kang the conqueror around the corner no is iron man obviously kang the conqueror no so it's not really that far-fetched to be honest guys so there is some evidence to back this up meanwhile banner and tony are working on bringing back the people who were turned to duck while thor and carol go back to space thor wants to find the surviving asgardians while carol leaves to continue Continue her duties now it is rumored that obviously thor and carol danvers aka captain marvel will both form an army i mean that's a conspiracy theory stroke rumor that's been going around the, the obviously the plot leak scene for like the last six months but there's no real evidence to suggest that it's true but it's not far-fetched this is when scott lang shows up after escaping from the quantum realm he explains what has just happened to him he used his ants communicator to get out of the quantum realm where he was stranded at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. He returns with quantum energy from the realm and explains that he saw his daughter in a parallel universe, although she hasn't recognized him. I mean, this does make sense. We have been told we will be seeing alternate versions of the same characters and there could be parallel universes. So it's not really that far-fetched. It's focusing on, um, obviously, the original Avengers, which... The first act of the movie will essentially focus on the first part of uh, like the original Avengers, so to speak. But I'm not really expecting Captain Marvel to show up that early. So that's the bit that's a bit of a red herring for me. That's when Tony decides to explore quantum tech and Scott unshrinks Hank Pym's lab inside the Avengers compound. Interesting. Tony develops suits for the quantum realm that are built using the same nanotechnology as Iron Man's suit. Apparently those watches that we saw on the hands of several Avengers in the leaked Endgame set photos are what housed the white suit that we just saw in the second trailer. Um, I'm still on the fence about whether these are quantum realm suits because why would Ant-Man need a suit to go through the quantum realm when he's literally been through it in Ant-Man 1 and Ant-Man and the Wasp and he's literally going to come out of it during Avengers Endgame which technically means he'd been in it three in three movies but two different times so there isn't really anything overly far-fetched in this theory I mean I've been over a lot of plot leaks and to be honest guys a lot of them are crazy this one sounds pretty pretty basic Banner has found a new way to work out things with Hulk and the resulting entity might be Professor Hulk War Machine gets an upgraded costume as well and is developing a secret weapon with banner that could be the image that the russo brothers shared it looked like some kind of weapon we don't realistically know officially what it is this presumably takes place in the more distant future following the event the event of avengers infinity war natasha goes to find hawkeye and ends up in japan where a female apprentice has joined him that's apparently the scene from the trailers as well as a nod that Kate Bishop might be seen in Avengers Endgame. Now, in that scene in the first trailer, that was a flashback scene because he's still got his his bracelet on his ankle under house arrest. So yes, he was training someone in the latest trailer how to use the arrow, so to speak. Um, I mean, is it Catherine Langford's character? That's neither here nor there. She looks a bit too young for that character. So I still think that character could very well be iron man's daughter thor discovers that asgard is now part of hell and that his sister hella is reigning over everything now we do know that clate blanchett will be playing a part in this movie as mark ruffalo literally confirmed that as well as the ancient one being in this movie so there literally is not really anything far-fetched so far danos has been watching all this time and is aware that thor and carol aren't 
with the others. That's why he attacks Earth, looking to prevent them from going to the quantum realm to jump back in time. Scott tells the Avengers during the fight which might be the fight we saw pieces of in the second Endgame trailer that someone has to defend the quantum tunnel to make sure they can return from the quantum realm. So this bit to me is where it gets a bit choppy because earlier in this same plot leak, so to speak, it said that Thanos destroyed all the Infinity Stones. I'll, I'll read this bit. On Titan 2, they lost the fight against Thanos. He destroys the Infinity Stones in an effort to stop them from undoing the changes in the past. Um, so I don't understand how, if all the Infinity Stones are broke, how Thanos could have been watching them all the time unless he was like a stalker standing outside of the Avengers HQ. Um, so that bit doesn't really make any sense to me. That's that's another red herring. There's a, there's a few red herrings in this, but it's not over the top crazy like Galactus is coming to take everyone out. This is the fight where we see War Machine rock the new Hulk Buster costume, fending off Thanos and his upgraded Outriders. Thor and Captain Marvel, contacted by Tony, rush to Earth with the new allies. Thor brings Hela undead army. So Thor is going to bring Hela's undead army to Earth. That would be pretty cool because that is a big problem that a lot of people have is Hela was hella cool. Kate Blanchett smashed that role, but we didn't really get to see her. And the Asgard, the Valkyries included to fight while Carol comes with a Nova, Nova corpse forces. Uh, it's not really that far-fetched. This is where the first dead Avenger reappears. And he is a new version of Vision based on what Shiri saved from the old one. It's War Machine and Vision who fight the Outriders. And Thanos with the others run to the Quantum Realm. So it's not really overly far-fetched. I mean, I would say out of all the plot leaks I've been sent and gone over, this makes the most sense and then it just goes on to say make sure you check the reddit post down below for a more detailed run of the first hour but that this has been deleted and it was translated from google translate so fair play to bgr.com for posting this article and obviously chris smith for writing it i've interpreted it in my own way personally i think there's too many red herrings like i i don't think thanos is going to destroy the infinity stones in the first act i think that doesn't really make any sense i think hella will return with an undead army because she's going to be absolutely infuriated that someone outshined her um i don't think that hella's going to be the MG, mcu's version of death but i think a lot of it could be pretty accurate but like i said take with a pinch of salt it did say that the redditor was ready as we were able to prove it was edited but he did say it's worth a read and i think it is one of the most realistic plot leaks that we've had and potentially it could have unlocked the first hour of avengers endgame but like i said if i knew this was real i i wouldn't go over it because i might do spoiler based videos but a plot leak and physically watching the movie is a different thing now obviously when i get to watch the movie early I'd be under a non-disclosure agreement. So I wouldn't be able to talk about it anyway until the embargo is lifted. So I think this could be the entire first hour. I don't think they're going to destroy the Infinity Stones. Thanos not going to destroy the Infinity Stones. Then he's going to watch him to stop him going through the quantum realm to stop them from changing the past. I think that's a big twist if this is true, but I don't think that bit's true. There is a lot of solid scenes here. I don't think Captain Marvel is going to appear in the first hour. Well, hopefully she won't, but she didn't really outshine the other Avengers from what this plot leak theory article actually says. So, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like this plot leak? Would you like this? Um, I mean, Thor, Rocket, and Rescue, saving Iron Man would make the most sense uh, to save Iron Man and Nebula. That, that really would make the most sense to me. It's not too far-fetched. A lot of these plot leaks are so crazy, like, Galactus is coming. Okay, guys. Okay, bros. I get you. I get you. Literally, the deal is going to be done on Wednesday, the 20th of March. So, yes, they could technically CGI any character from the Fox universe, essentially anyone from X-Men, Fantastic Four, anyone from Deadpool, any of the new characters they own technically this coming Wednesday but I don't think that's going to happen like that that would be silly for them to rush them kind of characters into this movie when it's not really needed but 
Thanos isn't going to destroy the Infinity Stones. That would be so weird um, if they did, because then what would be the point of going back to the past to change things? Um, there's a lot of inconsistencies in this plot leak, but it is probably the most realistic plot leak and the most real plot leak we've gone over on this channel. Yes, I understand a lot. Some of you guys don't like the plot leaks, but it's the most requested video I have on the channel to go over plot leaks. So I like doing it. You guys seem to appreciate it. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. If you do want to enter that competition, all you got to do is let me know down below what is the best scenes or scenes from the second trailer do you think there's going to be a trailer three and also make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on and i will catch you in another video very soon catch you later